and we've just passed the peak of hurricane season, but we still have a lot left to go. So that could be influenced by either El Nino or La Nina, and we've gotten some new information on that. So we're going to talk to Amanda Holly not only about this, but what that can mean for just our, our weather in general. Heading into the next several months. Yeah. yeah, La Nina is now forecast to continue, not only for the rest of hurricane season, but actually all the way through at least January. We're still looking at these sea surface temperature anomalies out in the Pacific. You can see the United States here. We're looking at the near the equator. These temperatures are running about a degree cooler than average. Doesn't seem like a lot, but again, in, in terms of water temperatures, that's actually a pretty big amount. So NOAA is predicting 91% chance of La Nina continuing through at least the end of hurricane season and an 80% chance that it continues through January. So Yes, that could lead to an above average season in terms of our hurricanes. Luckily, that hasn't come to fruition so far, but like we said, we have quite a bit left of hurricane season. But as we head into winter, what typically happens is it pushes the jet stream a little bit farther to the north, and that's those storm paths as well. So it leaves us in the southeast a little bit warmer than normal and a little bit drier than normal. Obviously, we will still get rain and we will still get some chilly days in the winter, but on average, we're a little bit warmer and a little bit drier than normal. We'll continue to watch it. Obviously, that's a few months away. We got to get through hurricane season first, Lee. Yes, and we have a rainier and milder pattern going on for the next eight days. You can